When I started hunting deer, you were lucky if you actually even saw a deer. Deer were almost non-existent in Missouri. The Conservation Department uh, brought deer in to repopulate the deer herd in Missouri. Today it's about 1.4 million. Missouri's a fantastic place to hunt. The hunting heritage is an important part of Missouri's heritage. I think it's an important part of America's heritage. My mom, my dad, my grandparents, you know, they've all taken me hunting and it's just really fun whenever you get something or anything like that. We'll have 500,000 deer hunters pursue white-tailed deer on an annual basis, so culturally it's a very important animal. We have people that come in from all over the country to deer hunt, and when they come, they spend a lot of money. There's a lot at stake, billion dollars to the economy that hunters bring to the state. We're in the heyday of deer hunting right now. It is as good as I've seen it in the state of Missouri. I think the people that participate in it should appreciate it and fight hard to keep it. Chronic waste disease is a fatal neurological disease that affects cervids, so deer, elk, moose, and caribou. Chronic waste and disease is spread by a prion, which is not a virus or a bacteria like a lot of other diseases of animals. Prions are abnormally folded proteins that are actually within the body, and they reside in the body normally. Everyone carries prions around. However, this is a protein that is misfolded so that it does not behave like normal proteins should in the body. Chronic waste and disease management tends to be much more proactive trying to prevent introductions of the disease and limit its spread once it's present. Pretty much everybody in our club would take a strong position on wanting to do whatever we could do to help prevent the spread of uh, CWD. The negative impact that it would have would be tremendous. Missouri has about a half million deer hunters we harvest about 300,000 deer a year. That's a lot of good high protein, uh, low fat meat. The impact to the state from a financial standpoint is over a billion dollars a year from hunters. It's probably the most important tourism niche that we have, hunting and fishing in general, but specifically bringing in all those deer hunters from all over the country. My biggest concern here is that in 30 years, we might not have a deer season in Missouri unless we take preventative measures and do it quickly. If I couldn't hunt anymore, it would take a big part of my life away because, you know, I look forward to it all year and when it finally gets here, you know, you're really excited. Deer hunting is a big part of our life. I spend a lot of time deer hunting, so I think deer hunting is very important to me. It's important to have a healthy deer herd in quantity of animals available as well as quality of animals available so we can pass that heritage on to future generations. Any threat to wildlife, I think, is a concern for, uh, for us as landowners, uh, for, for our state, you know, having the strong conservation and wildlife heritage that we have. So uh, I think it's important that, that all of us as good stewards of the land do our part to keep a healthy herd and to practice sound wildlife pra uh, management so that we, uh, that we don't have things like overpopulation and chronic wasting disease and, and things that could harm the wildlife and, and ultimately harm our, our hunting heritage in the state. And I, I see certainly it would, would affect share of the harvest that I'm involved in because we would not have that meat to hand out to our needy people. And, we, and all, all the money that the hunters pay to camp here, it fills up all our campgrounds, it fills up all our hotels every year, and so it's really important. So when it comes to the deer health, the people to listen to in Missouri are the conservation department biologists who have been trained in deer health. CWD has been identified on private land. Uh, the vast majority of the landscape in north central Missouri is private land, and so cooperation with local landowners is critical. Uh, the CWD positives were detected in hunter harvested animals that were voluntarily submitted for sampling. We have worked with landowners to uh, collect additional samples, determine prevalence and distribution of the disease. We're going to continue to work with landowners in terms of reducing deer densities locally. Um, to try to manage the distribution prevalence of the disease. They play a critical role in our management and potential success in managing CWD. Hunters need to educate themselves on this disease, be the tools for the Department of Conservation to help manage this disease. When the conservation puts up rules like do not take these carcasses 
out of, out of the CWD zone. They need to be aware of that, how they can take the meat back and what to do. They also need to <clears throat> be part of the managers. Use the guns and bow, bows to manage this deer herd as the department need, uh, ask us to. And it's our responsibility. The department can't do it without the hunters. Uh, with respect to CWD, I know the conservation department is doing some uh, town hall meetings. Uh, I would encourage hunters and even non-hunters to go to those meetings and, you know, try to get the facts and support your positions and make sure that your positions are heard. Respect the resource, follow the rules. Uh, let's learn to do things right. Respect your neighbors. We want to continue to hunt. We want to continue the tradition. We, we love it. Deer hunting means to our family just, it's a way to bond with your family. And we've been doing it so long that it's just kind of a tradition. My wife and I are, are, are grateful to, uh, to have a family that enjoys what we enjoy. So far, we're very pleased that they are going the direction they're going as far as enjoying this, this uh, heritage that we have. And we hope that continues. <laughs>